They're there for our animals when they're most sick. We see everything ranging from um, the actively dying patient that presents at the front door um, to the patient that you know might have had a few vomits. But with an increase in pets and a shortage of staff, emergency vets are having to turn patients away to look after themselves. We've stepped back to um, protect or look after our staff and um, a lot of clinics are doing that as well just to try and yeah, prevent that from happening and take care of the team we've got. The Animal Referral Hospital in Pialago temporarily shut its doors to after-hours emergency care last week. Their closure means there is now only one emergency vet to service the whole ACT. On the first day after they'd closed, we reached capacity in our hospital um, with inpatients. Um, we've seen an influx of consultations night on night. The increase in patients is a strain on already stretched vet clinics. An increase in pets means an increase in sick pets, unfortunately, so um, we, are, we are seeing that played out here as well. It's not just our beloved pets who are feeling the impact of the vet shortage. Wildlife rescue groups say they rely on after-hours vet services to help save injured wildlife. We rely on the vets immensely. Um, they have the capacity to provide the care, the first aid, the medical treatment that we simply can't do. Many of those wildlife rescues simply can't wait until business hours. People are driving home from work after hours and it's dark already and so that's when they hit a possum on the road or they come home and they find uh, a sick bird in their garden. Which also adds to the out of hours workload. We're here to help. We're doing as much as we physically can at the moment. Vets are asking for patience from the community as they strive to help all the animals in their care. Antoinette Radford, ABC News, Canberra.